Running a live version of Linux on your USB flash drive is incredibly simple to do. A live version of Linux lets you use all the features of Linux and when you restart, nothing will be saved. You can connect this USB drive to basically any computer and run Linux instantly. You're going to want to have a decently fast USB drive though. I have a Samsung USB 3.1 flash drive and it's pretty fast. I got the 64GB version for $10 and I'll leave the Amazon link in the description. Belinda Etcher is a piece of software that lets you flash operating systems onto USB drives or SD cards. And it's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux, so just go to this website and then click download Etcher. I'll leave it in the description. So download the one that's correct for your operating system. There's going to be multiple versions for each operating system except for Mac OS. But for Windows, if you have a 64-bit computer, it's going to be one of the first two links. If you're on a 64-bit machine, just take the portable version because it's just one singular file, you don't have to install anything. You just run it from this one file and then it'll work completely fine. If you're on 32-bit, you'll just have to download a portable one, that's the only option they have. If you're on macOS, just click on the macOS version. And on Linux, you just choose whether you have 64-bit or 32-bit. And then app image is basically just like a portable file, so I already have it installed. And now we're gonna have to download the version of Linux that we wanna install to the USB. So for this, I'm gonna be using Linux Mint, it's pretty lightweight and it's based off Ubuntu, so I'll have all the applications or programs that I wanna use. So go to linuxmint.com or whatever Linux distribution you wanna download, and I'm gonna click download here, I'll leave the link in the description. And then scroll down, and you'll see multiple versions of Linux Mint. So Cinnamon is the most popular and it looks a lot better, but if you have a really slow USB drive or a slow computer, you could just download the XFCE version. It's not the best looking, but it is really lightweight. But for this, I'm just going to download the Cinnamon Edition. Once you click on download, it won't automatically start downloading. You're going to have to scroll down and then download it from one of these servers. They don't actually host the file on their website. So wherever you're from, just use the certain link. I'm just going to download it from advancedhosters.com. It really doesn't matter. It's just the same file. And then save it to your downloads. Okay, now that the download's complete, I'm just going to close out of this tab. And then go ahead and restart Belena Etcher if you've opened it already. Then go ahead and plug in your USB drive. Now open up Belena Etcher and you should see your USB drive already there. If it's not there, click on change and then select it. If it doesn't show up, try restarting Belena Etcher and then see if it'll show up. Then click flash from file and then select the ISO that we just downloaded from linuxmint.com. So I selected the Linux Mint ISO file and I selected my USB drive. And when I click flash, it's going to format my drive and I will lose all of my data from the drive. So if you have anything that you need from that USB drive, make sure you back it up because this will erase everything. Now click flash and then for me, it's going to ask for my password. So I'm going to put that in and then it will flash. With the Samsung USB drive, it is pretty quick, so it might take a minute, but if you have a really slow drive, it might take a long time. Now that it's done, you have a version of Linux on your USB drive, and you can run this basically off of any computer. It's that simple, you just have to select the drive, select the ISO file, and then it automatically does everything for you. Now I'll show you how to actually boot off of this USB drive from any computer. I'm recording on my phone right now, so the quality is not going to be that great, but make sure your USB drive is connected to the computer you want to boot into Linux. Then search up what the boot menu key is for that computer. This is not the key to enter the BIOS. This is the key to enter the boot menu. It'll show up with all the devices that you can select to boot. Just search up boot menu key for whatever brand computer you have. If you have a desktop PC, just search for that certain motherboard. Now I already know mine is Asus and it uses F8 to get into the boot menu. So I'm just gonna restart real quick. Now that it's booting up, I'm just going to keep clicking F8 and then it should show me the boot menu. Now here are the different options I can boot from. If the USB flash drive is shown twice, just click on the first instance of the USB drive. So I'm just going to click on this one. There's only one instance for me. And then it should show up with this menu instantly. Now I'm just going to click on the first option, start Linux Mint, and then it should boot up. The camera's not showing it well, but that is the Linux Mint logo. Now I'm booted into the USB drive and I can do whatever I want. I can install applications and test stuff. If you get an error like this when you try to boot into your USB flash drive, this operating system might not be compatible with your secure boot. I don't really know a lot about secure boot, but what secure boot is, is it tries to stop your computer from booting into different operating systems that it doesn't trust. If Linux Mint doesn't work for your computer, 
then you might have to try another one, since I don't recommend turning off Secure Boot, because it is a good feature. So another operating system that has worked for my computer is Peppermint OS, it's based off of Debian, and you can use the same steps to flash it to the USB drive, and you can try booting into that USB flash drive, and it should load up without any issues. Again, I don't recommend turning off Secure Boot, because you might not be able to boot into Windows again, because I'm pretty sure that is a requirement for Windows 11 or something like that. Anyways, if you have any issues with creating and booting into this live Linux USB flash drive, just leave them in the comments down below. Anyways, if this worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.